Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be doing the Black Ops 3 side of the PS4 versus Xbox One. Today all we're going to be talking about is Black Ops 3 and which one you should get. Whether you should get an Xbox One or a PS4, which one's better, who knows. You guys let me know down below. But I'm just going to go ahead and knock this one out of the room because everyone's thinking about it. The PS4 on Black Ops 3, yes, you do get DLC. 30 days early. That is a huge thing to YouTubers and to anyone that just enjoys zombies or playing the bleeding edge of multiplayer. You know, you don't even have to be a YouTuber to just enjoy getting maps first. I remember I wasn't even doing YouTube and I really did like getting maps first. It made me feel good, made me feel like I was exclusive, but then I went to the PS4. So let's get Black Ops 3 out of the way. Let's talk about this. There's no way I can actually show you guys through a video the quality difference between the two games. So take it from me, someone that's played PC, played the Xbox One, and has played the PS4. Take this answer, and I know, I know, you're not going to like it. Some of you guys are not going to like it. You're going to be like, oh no, it's the same. It's the same thing. And I used to be on that same side too. Until I got one. And yes, the PS4 has better graphics. All the way around on Black Ops 3, the menus look better, everything looks sharper, the zombies experience just feels a little bit better, and it's nowhere near comparable to PC unless you have a low end build, but if you can play on you know, some really high settings on PC, it it definitely knocks PS4, I wouldn't, it would definitely knocks the Xbox One out of the ballpark, any PC playing. But the PS4 is actually, it's pretty close to PC. You know, unless you go into ultra or whatever the ultra high is. So, yes, PS4 does look better. And let me give you, like, an idea of of what it's like to play PS4 to Xbox One, okay? So, take a PS4, if you have a PS4, and it's almost like they took those graphics on PS4 and just added saran wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you guys call that. You just, you know, you throw it over, the, over your food and it's clear. They threw that over the screen... And that's the Xbox One. It's it's not very bad. It's not a huge difference, but it is noticeable. It's a little bit blurry. It's just not as sharp as the PS4. And yes, I've played this on the same monitor I played on the Xbox One. And I was like, well, maybe I'm overhyping it. And I have two of the exact same monitors for my PC. And I plug both of the consoles into both separate monitors and just got a side-by-side -side comparison and it is very noticeable. I mean, I say it's not no I mean, it's so noticeable. But then again, you can deal with it. You know, it's not like it's not like you're playing Black Ops 3 on 360 or PS3. It's not that noticeable. But if you're a graphics nerd and a graphics buff, it's definitely going to be better on PS4. And from graphics, you're going to get a little bit better gameplay too. It's a little bit smoother on the PS4. But this is an Xbox thing. You can invite people and just playing with other people is so much better on the Xbox One. I kind of feel like the PS4 is more of a a solo type deal. PlayStation has always really been about solo style games, you know. I don't think they're that far advanced into multiplayer and co-op yet, so they keep their ecosystem like that too. And that's part from yesterday's video, you have to friend someone to add them to a game and invite them. But on the other hand, Xbox has always been about Xbox Live. Let's play with your friends. Let's do this. So they're really mature in the fact that they always let you play and it's just a better playing with someone else and playing with many people kind of experience but if you're one of those people that just roll in you go solo you join a team you play Publix PS4 Xbox One both would be fine for you but you know I do think that's true though the PS4 is is just you know the PS1 was you got a buddy to play with you know right beside of you you didn't have to worry about an online experience but from Xbox, the very roots was about playing with people that are not beside of you. And then the 360 came and that grew even more. And then the Xbox One is here now. You can have just tens of thousands of friends, you know, and just they don't even have to be your friend. They just follow you and you follow them and you see what they're doing. You unfollow them. It's just a better experience to play with friends on the Xbox One. And then you have PS4, which just just better graphics and just kind of better old gameplay so you guys decide 
what you like between this. Yes, Black Ops 3 is the same game, in essence, on both systems, but just the community and graphics is the real big difference between these two. So you can go to the PS4 side and get Ultimate Graphics, and you know, you'd still be able to play with friends, don't get me wrong, but just you know, you don't get that much of a community difference. And you have the Xbox One where you have the community and just slightly worse graphics. So you guys be the, the judges on this. I know people that have an Xbox One or people that have a PS4 will strongly stand beside with the other, you know, whatever they have. But just go on with it with an open mind. See what you have. Maybe just rent a PS4 or Xbox One. I don't know how that works, but just, I don't know, borrow someone's or go play with theirs. And you'll hate it because it's so foreign to you. But maybe you'll come around to actually enjoying it. And liking it because once you have both you kind of see it's the same thing the only difference is friends community graphics that's about it not communities as in ps4 communities just a friend kind of ecosystem online player ecosystem all together so whatever is more important to you you have to be the one that balances that out do you want better performance and graphics or you want to play with a ton of random people invite people and just kind of have a better experience in that regards so it's completely up to you and you know the real winner here is the one that does get 30 days early dlc but that's just me you know i like getting dlc early and i did what i had to do to get it if xbox one had it i would not have a ps4 unless you know i got a ps4 first you know there's no point in having two consoles except for the fact that one gets dlc first and i'm not selling the xbox one if you guys are wondering i'm not switching to ps4 if you guys are wondering i'm not even you guys are going to think i'm going to switch to pc here in a few months with all the pc i'm going to be playing of custom black ops 3 zombies but it's just me i like having dlc first i will be on xbox one live stream will be this weekend look out for that hope you guys enjoyed this video tomorrow will be the results and you guys tell me what you think peace